Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman with Meat Church and welcome back to our outdoor kitchen. Well, today we're gonna bring a California staple to Texas. It's time to make some tri-tip. Stick around. Tri-tip is one of my favorite cuts to make. It comes from the bottom sirloin, technically a roast, but we're gonna cook it to eat like a steak. This is really uh, prevalent in California where it's cooked over a red oak fire, but we're gonna bring this to Texas and go with a two-step reverse sear process where we're gonna smoke it first, then we're gonna sear it. A reverse sear is extremely simple. Think of this as cooking it in your oven to a certain temperature and then pulling it out and searing it on cast iron on top of your stove. But hey, at the meat church, we don't cook inside. That's boring. Let's get outside and cook it. So like I said, we're gonna smoke it and then we're gonna sear it over cast iron at the end. So let's get started. So we've got a beautiful piece of meat here that's nicely well marbled. The top looks good. Uh, this one came with a fat cap on the back. So I'm actually gonna take my knife and get rid of that so that we can put seasoning directly on the meat. So with a sharp boning knife, I'm using my hand underneath as a guide, uh, this actually comes off pretty easy. It's nice and trimmed up. I get asked a lot about silver skin. You can take the time to completely remove it if you want, um, but it's not like wild game where it's a mandatory to get rid of it. So you can see we've done a pretty good job with this in here. Now I'm ready to get to seasoning. Uh, we're gonna use our Meat Church Holy Gospel, which is a great steak rub. Uh, it's salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of sugar, but feel free to use whatever you want. kind of pat it in. I didn't use any binders or anything like that. I'm going super simple. I'm gonna flip it over. Going pretty liberal with this one. I'm just gonna kind of pat it in. And then I'm gonna layer flavors and go with one more option here. I'm gonna use our gourmet garlic and herb. This is something I do on prime rib at the holidays. I think it's really good on steaks, so I'm gonna do it on this. It's a pretty delicate rub, so you can, can use quite a bit of that, and not be afraid. All right, call that good. Smells good already. All right, we're gonna take this to the smoker. We've got our Traeger set up at 225 degrees super smoke for step one. We're gonna cook this until it's 115 degrees internal temperature. We're gonna pull it off and then sear it for about a minute aside, and that'll get us just under 130. Medium rear is 130 to 135, so that's my target. Um, you can do this first step anywhere, 200 degrees, all the way to 275. I wanna go low so that I can impart some smoke in this tri-tip. Set it right there, and we'll check back in here in a few minutes. All right, guys, let's check in on our tri-tip. Smells awesome. So we actually got a little closer to 120. That's okay. We'll put it here on the board. We need to rest this for a few minutes. So anytime you cook a big meat like this, you need to give it about 10 minutes to rest so the juices redistribute throughout the meat. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna get my cast iron ready. I'm actually gonna sear this on a Traeger Ranger. So at this point, you would get whatever hot cast iron you have rocking at least 500 degrees or more. So I'll be back in just a few minutes to sear this off and finish it. All right, it's time to sear and finish this off. In step two of the cook, you wanna sear this on hot cast iron. You could do it on a hot grill. You could have put hot cast iron in there. I'm gonna take advantage of having a Traeger Ranger. I pull the drip pan out so the fire's hitting directly on this cast iron. And as you can see, it is super hot. We're like 650 degrees. This sucker is a searing machine. Put a little cooking oil. 
away we go. Now that's a sear. So we're gonna sear this about a minute aside and it's okay if you kinda wanna do the edges as well, that's up to you. And then we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna eat this baby. char is awesome. This is way hot, so I'm gonna give this a couple minutes here, uh, and then we're gonna slice it up and eat. All right, our tri-tips rested seven or eight minutes, and I'm ready to eat, so let's get to slicing. The grain in a tri-tip runs two different directions. We run this way on this piece, and this way here, uh, and you always wanna slice against the grain. So you have to cut it in half at first, and then um, we'll cut this direction on this piece, and this direction on this piece. So I'm going to jump right here into the heart and get a few slices off this. And I've made our chimichurri uh, sauce off meatchurch.com. It's an Argentinian sauce that is really easy to make and pairs amazing with beef like this. It has flat leaf parsley, cilantro, shallots, garlic, um, a little lemon, a little jalapeno, uh, some olive oil, red wine vinegar, and our seasoned salt in it and uh, the acidity in it just kind of cuts through beef. So, man, that looks so good. Uh, but it's gonna be even better with this. So I'll have the recipe for this chimney uh, down in the comments below or in the description below. But trust me, you're gonna love it. And now my friends, it's time to try it. Cut all the way through. Here we go. Man, that smells awesome. Insanely tender. Ain't mad at it. That is so, so good. Smoky. By the way, I love the Holy Gospel on steak. Super good. Great sear. Don't sleep on that chimichurri. Man, that's good. If you guys like this video, do us a favor, like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next week.